I'm sure all of us would agree that increasing revenues and maximizing profits, especially in new businesses, small businesses, remains one of the key challenges of most business owners. But what if I told you that increasing your revenues and maximizing your profits is an easy thing to do? Hi, I am Neera Pandey and today I am going to tell you about two simple but very impactful strategies which will help you to not only increase your revenues but will also help you maximize your profits at least by twice in a fraction of time. So let's get started. Before we get started, we need to understand about FEBE strategy. What does FEBE stand for? So F-E-B-E. -E. FEBE stands for front end and back end. Now what does it mean? So front end means the first time when you bring your customers inside your sphere, inside your reference, inside your premises. Okay. And back end means what do you do with them once they are inside your sphere? Okay, now front end and back end are two different systems in a business and therefore they require different strategies in order to make the business profitable and in order to improve your revenues. Okay, and it is said that the real pain lies in the front end, but the real money lies in the back end. Okay, and therefore today we are going to talk about two such strategies which we can adopt in the back end which will help us improvise and maximize our profitability and earn more revenues in our business. Okay, so the first strategy is upsell or add on. I'm sure most of you would have heard about this somewhere, you know, sometime in your life. And what does this mean? This means that simply adding another product or service at the time or close to the time when the customer is about to make the first purchase from you. Okay. It is a very simple thing and most of you will feel that, you know, we already have heard about it and we already know about this. Yes, that's true. But very few businesses have a stack of products or services that they can upsell to their customers. Usually businesses do not have a number of products or services stacked up which they can use to upsell and get more revenues from their customers. Okay, And this is proven by research. 90% of businesses do not have that. And to give you some example, most of the successful businesses employ these strategies. So the, the point here is to do a banana selling. Now what is a banana selling? Banana selling simply means selling in bunches or in multiples. Okay. How do you do that? So supposing the customer has come in for the first time at your outlet, at your platform, whatever it is, and then the customer has made this buying decision for the product or service that you offered for the first time to the customer. Okay, the point where this decision has been made, it is of utmost importance that you add another product or service to that customer and offer another product or service to the customer. Okay, the, if the customer buys that, you add another upsell. If the customer buys that, you an add another upsell. Now, how long should you be doing this? To the point that the customer says that he is not interested. Okay, and to give you some examples, so when you go to a cloth store to buy maybe a pair of jeans or maybe a t-shirt and when, when you are making that decision, when you've made finally that decision that okay, this is the pair of jeans that I'm going to buy, the, assist, the store assistant will suggest you that, you know, we really have some cool collection of shirts or we really have some cool collection of t-shirts. Why don't you try some? Along with your jeans, it will be a good purchase. And then probably you might agree to have a look at it. And once you have a look at it, probably you might uh, lay your hands on one or two pieces of maybe t-shirts, shirts, whatever it is. Okay. So once that is done and you think you are now ready to move to the payment counter, there's another offering that comes up. So why don't you buy um, some pair, um, you know, we have really good jackets which have come up. Why don't you try those? At least have a look. 
you have a look maybe you get to like one and then you decide okay let me just buy this then they'll bring up some other product for you to offer so they will keep on adding these products and services till the time you finally say that no uh, you know i'm done with it and i'm not interested okay so that's an upset imagine when you go to a shoe store what happens over there you go you ask for some particular shoes that you are interested in buying and then they will show you a range of shoes once you made that decision to buy this person will come to you and uh, put a handbag in your hand and then will suggest that why don't you go buy this handbag it it matches very well with the shoes that you purchased and uh, you are actually very lucky that you found a matching handbag for your shoes otherwise it's a real pain in the neck to go out and look out for uh, matching handbags so and then probably you might think that okay uh, you know let me uh, just buy a handbag in any case i would i was looking out for a handbag and i think the handbags are good over here and you just choose a handbag the moment you are about to go to the payment counter there will be another upsell so we have this pack of socks would you want to have some socks for your shoes and then you would think okay socks are you know a necessity it's it's a routine item so okay you would agree to buy socks then there will be something else so they'll come up with a foot cream they will come up with a, a pedicure kit and they'll tell you that we have special discount going on and you can just buy it for that so likewise they will keep up selling to you till the time you say that uh, no i am fine thank you and i don't want to buy anything so la so similarly you know at every uh, good business when you go to a good business a running well running business successful businesses they all adopt this strategy through and through and do and sell you certain more products or service when you would have just gone to buy one product or service okay imagine when you go to buy a car that's such a high ticket item right but once you purchase the car what happens the sales assistants will come to you the sales guys will come to you and will tell you would you want to buy some accessories for your car so we have really good seat covers we have this reverse horn we have wheel caps and along with the purchase of the car you end up by uh, buying some you know really um, valuable accessories as well what is that that's an upsell right think about going to you know maybe a mcdonald yeah you try to buy you buy a burger and there comes the other thing would you want to have some fries with your burger and you think okay would you want to have some drink with your burger okay what is that that's an upsell yeah how many of us do online shopping on amazon we do right so when we've decided what do we want to buy what does uh, the recommendation comes up they will show some four five products and there will be a message saying that people who purchase this also purchase these this plus this plus this is equal to this is the price what is that that's an upsell so everywhere all successful successful businesses do this and this is a very good strategy to be adopted why because there you are not incurring any cost in acquiring this customer yes you are just with every sale that you are making to this customer you are simply increasing your revenue and in fact you are simply adding on to your profitability right and it is such a uh, sad thing that most of the business owners even though they might be aware of this thing really do not have a stack of products to offer once the customer has made their first purchase right so in invariably what it means is these business owners are just leaving money on the table and uh if you think that you know you don't want to be a pushy sales person you don't want to be a nagging sales person then ideally you are not nagging anyone because at the end of the day you are just helping the person to meet some other needs which the person has and probably uh does not remember to buy things or at that point in time right so what are the advantages of an upsell first is if the customer buys your upsell then the profit that you earn will definitely increase without any time you know any significant time being spent because the the customer is already there in your uh, back end and then there's no additional cost to it right the second thing is even if the customer refuses to buy your upsell the customer will go out of your 
outlet or out of your premises feeling satisfied that he did not he or she did not spend too much at the uh, in his shop in his or her shopping spree right so you're getting what i'm trying to tell you now when we i discuss these things with uh, you know people most of the questions that i get is uh, what should be the price of an upsell so the price of an upsell can be higher than or can be lower than your first sell okay so supposing now you are selling shoes which might cost say maybe 3000 rupees 5000 rupees the next upsell that you do your handbag it can be either costly than the shoes that have been purchased or maybe at a lesser cost than the shoes that have been purchased okay so it really doesn't matter it can be either higher or else lower than the first purchase okay now till when do you keep uh, offering the upsell to the customer till the time the customer says that he is not interested so the customer buys your product makes the first purchase you offer the first upsell the customer agrees to buy that you offer the second upsell the customer agrees to buy that you offer the third upsell you keep continuing that till the time the customer says he is no longer interested okay and so as i told you people say that they don't want to be pushy they don't want to come across as a really rude salesman so you don't have to be pushy you can be classy you can be polite in your own way think about that when you go and purchase some electronic items what so say supposing you've gone and you've gone to purchase a washing machine you are purchasing a fully automatic washing machine and what happens once you made that buying decision the sales assistant will come to you and tell you that at just an additional price of 1000 rupees you can get an extended warranty for two more years so why not do that because later on then if there's any problem in the panel or in the motor you will not have to pay anything extra so just buy an additional 1000 rupees right now you can get an extended warranty what is that that's an upsell are you trying to be pushy no because will the customer not be happy if tomorrow the customer faces some problem with the machine and if he gets the service done without paying anything extra yes it is a win win situation both for you as well as for the customer so you really don't have to think and you really don't have to be pushy in that you are just making an offer in order to make the life of the customer easy the decision of buying or not buying is totally in the hands of the customer right and also if you are making an offer or a suggestion for maybe four upsells even if the customer buys two or three upsells you have improved and increased your revenue by 2 to 3 times minimum right without any additional effort without any additional time and without any additional cost okay so that is the first important strategy that you can use to immediately increase your revenue and maximize your products in a fraction of time okay so you only by using this one strategy you can actually double or triple your uh, revenues and your profitability but i will tell you another important strategy by which you can do this okay so that is known as downsell now what is a downsell if the customer refuses to buy or upsell then you use the second strategy which is known as the downsell and what do you do over here is you give them an option to buy something at a lower price than the original okay so supposing if the customer has come to you to buy uh, maybe uh, you know shoes and then you try and upsell a handbag and the customer refuses to buy a handbag next what do you do you can come out and sell a pair of hankies to the customer that's a downsell okay you can um, uh, you can try and sell uh, a pack of socks that's a downsell okay so when the customer refuses to buy your upsell then you sell something at a lower cost and that is known as a downsell so every time they buy you upsell and every time they deny or they do not buy you downsell okay and we have i mean all of us see this happening in our daily lives everywhere around when we go to shop in malls when we go to picture halls everything where businesses are running successfully 
this is the kind of strategy which is adopted okay and why is it important it is important because it is better to have any sale and have the customer rather than not having a sale and losing the customer isn't it why because once the customer makes a purchase to you irrespective of the price at which the purchase is made the customer gets into your back end he becomes he or she becomes a part of your database and this customer now you can use to keep selling your products for weeks months years for your lifetime right so if not today the customer there is a chance that this customer will convert at a higher product at a higher uh, uh, purchase price tomorrow the day after or you know somewhere down the line right but if you don't do that you have simply lost the customer you don't you have lost an opportunity to sell anything to this customer in the lifetime right so that's why it is very important to have products have a stack of products so that you can upsell and downsell at every purchase that a customer is making at your platform at your outlet in your premises in your sphere okay now upsells and downsells are really important during your sales pitch because they make a difference between a fortune and losing a fortune because we've clearly seen i mean most of the cost that you incur is at your front end right when the customer comes for the first purchase so if the customer is going out without buying anything obviously you've lost all the money that you spent in getting the customer inside in your front end okay so therefore if you make the customer buy something at least you are not losing that customer and you are not losing that money that you spent on acquiring the customer okay now there's one golden nugget that i will give you uh, now what is the price some of the people ask me that you know if the first uh, if the customer refuses to buy the first product that we offer then what is the price that we can go down to for a down sell in order to acquire the customer now the uh, secret here is you can go down to the level where you are incurring the cost that you have spent on the product and maybe also on the marketing in order to acquire the customer okay so say supposing you have run some ads online or maybe offline and you've spent x amount of money on those ads so now and then when you break it down per customer what is the amount that you spent if a customer comes to your point and if you have to sell something you can sell it at a cost which can cover the cost of the product and just the cost of the marketing that can be the amount that can be the price till which you can down sell some people who think in the long term and who are initially not so bootstrapped and uh, you know no uh, not in such a tight position as far as the finances go they can they even go down to just recovering the marketing cost or maybe just recovering the product cost at that at the time of first purchase because they know that you know once the customer is there in the back end once this customer becomes a database then there is no limit to the kind of upsells that you can keep doing to this customer okay so i hope you will find you found this strategy useful if you could resonate with what i have said please let me know in the comment section below also to keep receiving updates about such informative videos that i post on my youtube channel kindly subscribe to my youtube channel see you all in the next video bye bye